What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam. Uh, today I'll be going over a second video on my um, my printer. Uh, it's a Brother MFC-J825DW. I'm just going to do a second video. Um, appreciate the love on the first one. Um, today I'll be going over uh, the updates on the Brother app. Uh, there's, uh, I think there's one new feature, if not two on there I want to go over. Um, scan the computer. I'll be scanning wirelessly from the printer to my laptop. I'll show you how that works. Um, I'll be printing from a USB stick as well. And uh, since my last video began with printing on a CD, um, I'll do that last and I'll be going into more depth uh, with that, printing on a uh, CD media or DVD media, uh, showing you that. So let's let's hop right into there. Well, so. Like I said, we're going to start on the app. Let me get there. Where's my brother app? Brother, brother, brother. There it goes. See it? So I'm going to hit brother app. Okay, yeah. All right. So this is what we got. Photo print, PDF print, web print, email print, and scan. Now, I think um, web print and email print wasn't there before, but I know for sure email print wasn't there I sent myself a test email um, for this uh, video, so we'll go, you see there it says test, uh, that's the email I sent myself, I'll go ahead and print preview, down there I'll even hit the that button so you can see, uh, you know, how it was going to, how it looks there, hit the back button, and I'll go ahead and print. We'll see. See what's should be like two pages. I think that's a nice feature. So you can print any email you get, whether it has graphics or not, or whatever have you. I think that's a great feature, especially if you have an important email document, or it could be a resume, it could be whatever. You'll print it right out. I think it's two pages, so I'm just waiting on the second one. And plus, I wanted to show you uh, the speed of it. Like I said, this is not my first video. It's not the fastest printer, but it does the job for 100 bucks. This, if you pay 100 and 150 dollars for this machine, you got your money's worth. All right, so let's see. See, this is a test. See. All right, so that printed from an email. Okay. So, let's keep the party going here. All right, let me back out of that. Um, let me get back into the to the app. Back out of all that stuff. All right, so we're back. So now we're gonna go email. No, we're gonna go web page print. See that? Now I'm gonna type in something really quick. Sorry about this. Actually, I could pause this and. All right, there we go. We got YouTube at Douglas M. That's my YouTube site. So we'll bring that up. Um, we'll touch that. And there we go. So it gives me the option of printing my YouTube page, how it lays out there. And I'm going to do that. See that? Just that simple. Printing out. That's. And so this is great because this can go for any web page. Um, you can just go ahead and uh, print that out. And um, oh, I missed a step. Look at that. All right, so uh, it says print this. I think that means just the page, page one, or print all means printing all pages, which would be two. It says one of two. So there we go. So we're going to do that. So that's how you print from a uh, web page. Uh, so that's any web page, and also there was there is a um, bookmark uh, icon there. So if you have bookmarks saved, um, it can do that uh, from your bookmark. So you don't necessarily have to type something in every time. If you have a bookmark, you can print from that page. And what's what's useful for that is some websites don't allow you to print, or um, you know it might be something that you want to print that it's. It, just doesn't give you an option. This is a great way to do it, especially from your phone, which is awesome. 
And of course, they make, it looks like they're going to continue to make, um, you know, updates on this app. So it's just going to keep getting better and better. So, but I don't think I'll be making any other videos on this printer. Um, but it is awesome. I wish I'd have bought it two years ago, whenever it came out. I would I paid a hundred dollars, but I would have paid up to you know one eighty nine for this printer and still still felt happy about it. Um, so I'll be using Brother products as far as printers are concerned. So my next printer will be a Brother. Um, probably get in the next two years. I'll upgrade to maybe their high end one and see how that goes because I am impressed. And I don't work for Brother. I'm just letting you know how I feel see printed out fine only 93 subscribers Ooh, I gotta do better all right so see that's how it was it printed that was just regular paper all right so we did that no problem so on to the next topic clear that out here all right now we're going to print from a USB stick. Now what I'm going to do too uh, with this is I'm going to show you how it looks on the other side of the, well, you know, on my laptop. I'm going to take the camera to my laptop after I print it out. So have the USB stick in. That's what the menu that comes up. Uh, view photo. And the photo came up. And I think too, watch your resolutions on these, uh, on, on how it prints. I think if it's too like a high def picture, I don't think it would work. I think there's some type of parameters. I don't know what it is, but your regular pictures on your camera would work. But I tried it with like, I went on uh, Google and just did like a high definition picture, saved it to USB and it, it, it didn't come up. So I just want you to, to be aware of that. You still can print them, but I don't think through the US, through this function, it would work. Um, but anyway, so let me click that. And so, yeah, see it? Then it says, okay. Okay. And so there, press start to print. Well, let's go ahead and hit start. So we're printing from a USB stick. Now this is the same difference as a memory card. Because uh, you know it has the memory card um, uh, ports right there, inputs right there to put your memory cards in. So USB stick and memory cards is the same difference. So there you go, this printing. Just want to show you that real quick and then we will go to a scan after this. Show you how that works. I love the scan. The scan is, I use that more than anything. Um, what's useful for like if you get like, if you get a traffic ticket or any type of document that you need to save, you can scan it wirelessly to your computer, save it to a file. Instead of, you know, printing it, because you could lose paper, but you're more, you're less likely to lose a file. You know what I mean? And you can you could always back up the file to another computer just for safety. If you tend to get a lot of viruses, you would know more than me. All right, so popped out. This was just a little picture of my daughter running track. No problem. All right, so let's uh, let's move on. Let's pop that back out. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to scan wirelessly uh, to your laptop or desktop using this printer. All right here, um, I have a uh, restaurant.com $25 gift certificate that I will be using this weekend, taking my girlfriend out to dinner. Nothing wrong with saving a little bit of money. All right, so we put it in here, close it down. Yeah, I'm running out of ink. I hit scan. Now let me uh, zoom in here. Now to media means I can, in the middle right there, it says to media, I can scan to a USB or memory card doing that way. 
um, to email, obviously that's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna do to file. Now to file means to your computer. If you're hooked up Wi-Fi, which if you have this printer, I don't see why you wouldn't. His brother has some cheaper models that don't use utilize Wi-Fi. But anyway, so let's hit to file, as you see there. And you can't see it here, but the, the name of the laptop comes up, but I'm glad you can't see it because you don't need to really see that. So it says press start to begin. So I'm gonna hit start. And what I love about this, and I'll show you too, it's gonna pop up right on my laptop. Of course, if it's on, <laughs> but it's on, I'm just saying for you, it's, I guess it's gotta be on to work. Um, it'll pop up right on the screen, it, it just pops up. Now it says next page, no, there is no next page, so I hit no. All right, so we're just gonna go over to my computer and see what we got over there. Okay, without me doing anything, this screen popped up as I scanned it and it was completed. So let me zoom in. Can we zoom in? No? Okay, we'll zoom back out. Um, but that's basically what it looks like and what I love about it is I can just take it out, take the file out. It has it, it's uh, it's in a, it's in a folder called scan. It automatically defaults to that, but look, I can make my own folder, you know what I mean? And call it, I don't know, documents or whatever. And guess what? I can go ahead now and take this and put it right there. Now it's in there. And then you can just put it in your documents, um, you know, for safekeeping. So that's what I, I love about that. That That is an awesome feature. All right, and finally, uh, we're gonna touch on um, the CD labeling. All right. All right, there we have it. Now, as you see there, that's my, um, well, where we need to be is right here. It's called, if you can't see it, it's called the uh, New Soft CD Labeler. That's what you would use to uh, create a CD. Let me zoom out there. Show you that. That's what it looks like when you bring it up. Um, it has different types of uh, styles you can use, but I always like blank. I, I want to use my own, so I just double click that and that comes up there. This will always come up here. Um, um, the, the, the settings, you just hit X because it's always set to the right setting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on Google and I'm going to create an image, um, I don't know, uh, the sky, right? It's gonna take any picture of the sky, any, mm, uh, but, 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 let's just do, let's do that one. Let's click on that and hit copy. Uh, or send image. All right, we're going to send it to my desktop. Boom, exit out. So it's right there, right? So we're going to bring back up our program, minimize it a little bit. Just to show you how easy it is. I can bring it here. Boom, see? It's right there. Move it over so you guys can see. I can add lettering. It's caption, text, um, Douglas M, and make the font a little bigger, uh, 26, centered, bold, change the yeah, green, change the font, um, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. really doesn't matter okay make sure you hit adjust to fit the frame when you're doing text uh, when you're adding text to it uh, let's go ahead and do um, let's see if white would work white would work yeah there we go we can see a little better all right so that's what we're gonna do it also has um, what is this clip art Let's go over to clip art. 
Yeah, this little stupid guy right here. That's me. <laughs> All right, so um, this is what I'm actually gonna print. So what I wanna go over today is to, when you hit print here, I'll go over to the computer as well. See that? It'll say that. And then you hit OK. And so you're going to get this box that pops up. Um, and that's what I want. See this box? And this box here, watch out for because it goes under. Like say if you were on the internet or uh, something like you know you on you have other pages up on your screen. That goes under it and you won't start printing until you hit OK here. So you'll be wondering what's going on because this will be in back of your uh, all your other pages that you have up and you'll be like why is my printer not printing? So that's why. So make sure guys you have to you have to hit OK on this and and brother if you're why if the company brother is watching this video which I know you on because I'm a little peon um, please take this part off because it's annoying or make it default to pop in the front at least but anyway so alright so I'm gonna go over to my printer uh, before I hit OK and put the CD in uh, the printer and I will show you again like I showed you in my first video that's what it looks like see this is my CD inkjet printable this is a silver one they usually make white and silver right I got a silver one so I'm gonna put it, see, I'm gonna put it on. Boom, it's on. See, it's on. All right, so we'll, I'll meet you over back by my printer. All right, I hit okay on the computer. Um, and I'm by my printer as you can see, and that's what you see there. It says, please make sure that there is, you know, four inches space at uh, the back of the uh, machine to print. Uh, disc and that is definitely true because this comes out it comes the, the, well I'll see if I could show you that too I don't know if I can nah I won't but it comes out back it comes slides out of the back of the printer the CD so that's what you should know I don't feel like doing all this I'm already over 15 minutes which I didn't want to be but that's alright I'm doing this for you guys alright so as you can see, I'm putting it in, line it up, it's lined up, I hit OK. Oh, let me show you that. Alright, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to bypass all this, but it says hit start, so I'm going to hit start. Alright, so you saw this already on my first video, so I'll show the CDC. How the CD, the tray went, it's all the way, it's going all the way, sliding all the way out of the printer, sort of. So that's why you need that space. And uh, so it's printing, it's going to be printing on that CD, uh, the image that we just saw uh, with Douglas M and the sky and the little man. Um, so, and this will conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and again, I'll be uh, I'll be doing some other brother videos on some um, other brother printers. I've convinced some of my friends to get uh, brother printers, so when they get theirs, it'll be higher models than mine. I'm I'm pretty practical. I don't to put it like this. I use a pack of paper a year. Uh, my daughter may have reports. Uh, you know, my girlfriend's in grad school. I don't print much. I use, uh, I'm an eBay seller. I print a lot of stuff off of eBay, but that's a different set of paper for click and ship. Uh, Cause you know, it's got the sticky paper that I stick on my packages. So that, that doesn't even use regular paper. Um, I use that more than anything. Um, you know, I print my CDs. I'm a DJ as well. I print CDs. Uh, that's kind of died down over the years. MP3s have died down my business of making CDs, <laughs> but um, it's okay. Uh, so I use minimal use so I don't need a high-end freaking printer all right so let me show you Ooh, let me back off a little yeah there we go and I'll take it off so you can see it 
I don't know what I'm going to put on this CD as far as music, but I'll do something. Maybe I'll make a mix for myself. But anyway, closing in on 20 minutes, I see that's way too long uh, for my liking. But I do this for you. And remember to hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Um, hit me up with any questions that you have. I'll be happy to answer them as quick as I can. And it's pretty quick because I answer comments through my phone. So it's not like I'm tagged to some computer to answer your questions. Uh, but anyway, um, definitely, like I said, hit a com uh, write a comment if you have a comment. Um, I'll be happy to answer it. And uh, we thank you uh, for at least watching my video. And um, that's about it. Later.